Good morning everyone. First vlog post wedding. Um, I'm sitting in front of my ring light which is at my streaming setup for a game because um, it's so dark today. It's like storming outside. Really lovely weather. Really doing it. Really doing the most for a Thursday. Not feeling the most um, inspired today. I just removed all my fake tan because we are testing fake tan formulas and I'm going to reapply it tomorrow. I've been wearing it for the last few days so or since last last Friday so I already know it lasts a good amount of time but it was starting to look a bit eh so I'm going to retest it now anyways regardless so today Hamish and I later on do have a meeting we're going to go talk to an electrician and also a stair specialist Ooh, for our new build we have found a builder which is very exciting news I'll talk more about everything uh, maybe in the car with Hamish and we can talk about it together um, but yeah, we found a builder, we're optimistic that we can start building in the next couple, few months, and his work's amazing, and yeah, we're feeling very positive about it all. We've got some stuff locked in, I've made mood boards, I'll show you my mood boards real quick, just cause. I just made some of these on Photoshop, um, showing like the kind of textures I want to do. This is bright, here it is. Um, and some of like hardwares and just details, so like downstairs lounge and living and downstairs bathroom um some inspo for my editing office and lounge and dining which is all open plan um so we really like the kind of kind of scandinavian look kind of like industrial look like you know a bit of concrete a bit of wood um some different colored hardware some really cool lights we're really focusing on lighting that's why we're going to a lighting specialist well, electrician today we're going to talk about all of our lightings and we're going to talk about like specialist lighting led lights and stuff like that master bedroom and ensuite inspiration if you are interested you can head over to my pinterest and look at the dream home tabs and that's where i got a lot of this inspiration well you know that's where i saved a lot of this inspiration and i just pulled from those boards and made these cool lights here from lighting direct it's done too much here but like the outdoor area the steps up to the entrance, like laundry area. We have a proper laundry area this time instead of just being in our shed, like it is at this house. Upstairs lounge and powder room. I want like a hotel theme, not theme, but you know, hotel vibe powder room. Um, and then like stairs. So these are the kind of stairs we're hopefully gonna end up with. We're gonna go talk to them today and talk about what kind of finishes and stuff like that. So yeah, those are like the textures that I really like. I love texture. I think we're going to use some of that like texture paste stuff on the walls and paint over it and just like give it a really cool, I don't know. I just really like that look. Like do some walls that are just really clean and then like feature walls with some texture, wood, you know, concrete look, all sorts of stuff. It'll be a fun little journey and I really want to do like linen curtains and like really breezy tall curtains and stuff because we've got really big windows and high ceilings. So then we go to Dream Home. Um, so I love, like, I don't know, I don't know if it's possible, because I kind of want to get blackout, or I guess for the living spaces we don't need blackout, but for the bedrooms we do. I just love the textured looks, see with like the concrete look floor, we're not getting actual concrete floors because you have to get that done in engineering and we didn't, because we didn't realise, so we'll just do like concrete tiles or something like that, like a look. Um, but I love how they put the rails all the way to the ceiling. I reckon that looks so cool. Um, so, yeah, vibes. Ooh, so yeah, that's what me and Hamish are doing today. Up until then, I'm just going to chill, do a bit of editing, bit of work on the computer, and I will make some new guy, of course. I've had it every single day, and I'm obsessed with my results. My skin just always looks like this, like glowy as if. And one of the other big things I've noticed is I used to get all of these little bumps I can't remember what they're called but a lot of people suffer with them I've had them since puberty they're like all these red like pimply things all over my arms and they are literally like so smooth I get a couple still but I used to get probably like 30 at once because it's almost like a rash or something but now you can still see it, like because I've got like no feet tan on you can see all the scarring from having them over the years because I'd pick at them and scratch at them and stuff um, that's why I really like feet tan as well because it kind of like disguises that but I can't believe how smooth my arms are and I have not done anything different at all like nothing's different my diet's not different um, my body routine skincare shower care isn't different everything's the same the only difference is you guys so I really think it's helped a lot with 
my arm acne I guess what is it called it's called something if you guys have it you know exactly what I'm talking about and it's a struggle like nothing ever seems to help the only time I successfully got rid of it a bit was when I was keto and I'm not keto at the moment um so yeah it's out of it This is how I like mine with a lot of water, personally. It's a little bit um, less sweet. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. I still like it as a small amount of water, like a bit sweeter, but this way I just sip on it over like, you know, half an hour, half an hour an hour. Sorry, Zeus is cutting me off. So yeah. Using a shake is really good if you just want to like dissolve it super quick. Um, it's way more efficient than just like tossing it in with a straw or something like that obviously and you just have to shake it for a few seconds and voila it is done ah so good so yeah I'm gonna do some editing and stuff and might pop back in a little bit later and pop on a little bit of makeup and do my hair with you guys. Also, I bought a steam mop, so I want to steam mop the kitchen floor at some stage. So I'll do that with you too. Show you how much gross shit comes off the ground. <laughs> By the way, also I bought soil because I need to replot, replot, repot the plants. Especially this guy. Like this. That's a root of the roots. Um, so I'm gonna repot him in this one. He was previously in this one. So the next pot's a little bit bigger. Probably need to repot him. He's obviously struggling a little bit, but these are like out of control. I bought a little plant climber um, to kind of like put the leaves up on just to hold them up a bit because he is so long and I might have to like trim him down. But like, he's still growing beautifully, look. So yeah, oh, it's right in front of the freaking bug sprayer. That's good for it. That's probably why those ones are freaking dying. Anyways, yeah. So I'll repot those with you guys. I got the pots off once it. I'll link once it below. Um, I'll have an affiliate code. But yeah, they sell heaps of cool planters. I just searched planter in the search function. When you go browse, you just go browse search planters. And there's like hundreds and they're all discounted. This one's so cool. Look at it. I just need to find somewhere to put it. Um, so yeah, I need to replant him and make him more upright too because you can see he's grown on an angle. So that's another job. I'll probably do that later today if it stops pissing down with rain. This guy, look at him. He's got a whole new friggin' plant in the middle of the growing. This is my favorite one. I don't know what it's called, but it's from The Junglist. That, that, and that one up there is from The Junglist. I also have another one in my bedroom from The Junglist. Love the plants. And they're all thriving, thank goodness. But that one's a new one too come off the side so I don't know how that works can I just like break them up a bit and like repot them into another pot because I want to like spread them out a little bit so I can um have more plants so that when we move into our new build which probably will be I don't know just over a year from now that it'll be done I'll have lots of plants to put around the place so I just love my plants now and I've learnt when to water them mostly like this one I'm pretty sure I just leave it until it's quite dry and then I give them a little bit of water a little bit more water. Why can't I talk? I don't know. Oh, he's got another root digging into here. See, these are the things I don't know. Like, what do I do in this case? But we'll figure it out. Anyways, so the soil arrived, but also this arrived. New Fitbit. So thank you so much, Fitbit. This was free. It's the Fitbit Sense with stress management technology. Oh my goodness, I need that. Oh my gosh. And I got the gold and white one. Funny story, it actually got sent to my beach house this was not the Fitbit's fault but we sent it to the beach house it was up there for the wedding and then something happened and like the courier just like like they said they threw out the whole package because they sent it with like a fruit basket and the fruit must have like gone off in like a matter of a couple of days also by the way the courier company did the whole oh my gosh they weren't home so we left a car to call when we literally had 10 people at our house like he didn't even try to deliver it properly and my friend saw him and thought he was going down to the back house because he just kind of like went down the back because there's a house behind us down our driveway went down there and then walked back and left and he's like oh it must have been the neighbors because he didn't knock on our door like <laughs> It was so dumb. Anyway, then they were like, oh yeah, we threw out the package. And we were like, there's a Fitbit in there. That is not ideal. But they didn't throw out the Fitbit. 
So I just got it now because they sent it back and then it went into a lockdown. But I'm so thankful. So I'm going to try this. That's my exciting career story of the day. There's always one, isn't there? Yeah. How cute are my nails too, by the way? I put a picture up on my Instagram if you want to copy them. On stress tracking, heart health notifications, sleep tracking, sleep score, pace and distance with GPS, call text and app notifications. I think it's similar to, you know, the Apple Watch vibes, like a smart watch kind of vibe. So let's open it up. Let's do an unboxing. Oh my goodness. I got a new headset too. I got the new Astro. I love it. It's so much better than the old one. All right. This is going to be a weird angle. I'll link Fitbit down below for you guys. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is how it comes. So I'm obviously going to have to charge this up first. So it comes with, I think, a small strap and a larger strap. These days they just sell them with both straps, I think. Get your manual in here. So on the watch there's like a little protective seal. Oh my goodness. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then this at the back how does that go on i'm just trying to figure out there we go it likes that way it kind of like suctions onto itself so i'm gonna let it charge for a little bit and i'll set it up in a bit have to download the app charge it to 100 percent i've already got the app um sync with the app so i'll film me doing that in a little while but yeah i'm very excited i love the bits oh my goodness i have missed vlogging you guys and i believe you can buy new straps with these two but i just love the gold um face i'm so excited i was watching sally's vlog and she has her fitbit and she managed to put a little cat face on the front <laughs> so cute so this is our new vacuum we got a new dyson it is the v8 animal extra and it's amazing the dogs are an absolute mess under here And then this is the steam pump I bought off the market, I believe, .co.nz. I don't know. Steam mop. Is there a brand? MaxCon? I'm assuming. Um, anyways, I'm going to figure out how to use it. Alright, the water's in. I switched it on. This is steam size. So I guess this is bigger steam. Smaller steam. I don't know. So it starts heating up. There's the water in there. And I'm going to mop the floor. Ooh, that's scary sounding. <laughs> oh. That's easy with two hands, be out there. All right, so it worked well. I ended up taking the socks to get falling off, so maybe you're not supposed to use it, and I just used it like this. I don't know, but some dust picked up from the edges, like right underneath in the edges where you can't get to with the vacuum. So I just kind of pulled it into the center. I'm just going to vacuum the floor once it is dry. Now let's see what comes off on that. Ew. Uh, look at that. That's so gross. So yeah, I'm going to use this because, I don't know, I feel like with this tile you can't tell when it's dirty, um, which is a good thing, but... Yeah, clearly it was. Alright, so it says, now, what did I click for? That's 100%, so, I'm gonna unplug it. I'll get up to my app. It's taking a while, so I may have to finish it later on, because we're about to go to the electrician now. What? You being cheeky boy. So, I forgot to, whoops, take my camera with me, but, I don't know. Me and Hamish will sit down and talk about what we've done so far with the builder and everything soon. It's almost four o'clock. I was going to play a game, but I think I'm going to pot my plant because the rain has subsided. But yeah, we went to the electrician and we went and talked to the stair specialist. So we've got an idea about stairs. We're going to get a quote. And um, as far as the electrician goes, he's going to draw us up a plan. So he's going to go through and recommend which lights... We're going to use to fill the area. We talked about a security system. We talked about all these stuff, all the essentials, power plugs, internet. Mm -hmm. Louie. Talked about where we want lights and everything. He's going to do like a little plan for like mood lighting and everything and like the living spaces and um, cool lighting features um, on the balcony and on the staircase and stuff like that. And I told him about like my editing room and my filming office and like how I need good lighting and lots of power plugs and lots of fast high speed internet connections and things 
Um, so we're going to have like heaps of that stuff installed. Cool lighting outdoors and everything. So it's quite fun going over all of that. And yeah, he's going to do us up a plan. So I might show you some of it when we get that. Um, but yeah, so all of our plans are signed off. Engineers, council and all of that. And yeah, it's very exciting. This boy is wanting some attention. Sir, what is the problem? Boop. One more. One more. You look like a bowling pin. Don't let the dogs get them. I'm not going to. Hamish got me a mask and gloves. He doesn't want me to die. Alright, glasses off, otherwise I'll fog up. Here's the plant. There's some dog poo over there I'm trying to avoid. Uh, it's been pissed down rain, so apparently they've just gone right there. Which is great for the filming experience. So, I'm gonna like cut this out because if I try to rip that off, I'm gonna damage all the roots, right? So, I'm gonna cut this and then. I don't know. I'm just going to attempt to put it back together. Maybe I'll start by putting some soil in here first. It's got like a drainage rack on the inside too. Look. Like that. So, I mean, hopefully it survives. Otherwise I'll get another one, I guess, and try again. But so far I haven't killed it. This is so creepy though. Like it's so gross. Alright, I only broke off a couple little bits, but most of the bean ones are here still. So. Yeah. Do I need to like break this up a bit? I don't know. I'm not a gardener. This needs to go inside the pot this time. And this one. If it breaks, it breaks, whatever. And then I'm gonna try and like sit it upright like this. I'm gonna wrap the soil back up so the dogs can't get into it and then I'm gonna put it in the garage where they don't go. And I'm just gonna get a brush and shovel and clean up my mess so the dogs don't get into it and sniff it or anything. So at my new house, I want to take this plant or grow a new one and like put it up on my shelving, like on the walls and like, I don't know, make it look all beautiful and climb and shit, but here, just don't care enough. So I bought this off of Plant Pal. By the way, I'm going to try and start linking everything I'm talking about in my vlogs in the down bar, like just a list of websites. Is it going to focus though? There you go. Like, I reckon I could split this into two plants, but I don't know if I can be bothered right now because I just tied it up after myself. You feel? So you just go like that, I guess. And then train the plant upwards, which is easier said than done because mine is already too long. This is so long. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just going to wind them up and like droop them over. <laughs> what have I done? I don't even know, but whatever. We're just going to leave it like that because I'm sick of it like drooping all the way down. Um, I might remove that, split this up, and maybe start fresh with the trainer so that you can grow with it. Because, like, that's just kind of pointless, right? I don't know. I'm so bad at plants, but I'm trying to learn. He needs a trim. He really does. So you can choose different um, clock faces. There's so many for this. And then some of them cost a little bit, like a dollar or something. But like, you can search. Like I was like, oh, floral. <laughs> so it's just playing with Hamish right now. You can like find all sorts of different ones. To be fair, I feel like it takes a while to actually find one that I love, but. How cool is that? Like it's so customizable. I'm trying to figure out if I can make, make my own or something because that would be cool. So yeah, I'm going to figure out which clock face I want then I'll come back and we'll look at some other stuff. I searched tropical and I'm quite a big fan of this one. Eh? So I might get that one. I think it's cute. It's like gold and green. I love green. I feel like it'll look cute um, on my watch. Oh my gosh, if you search gold, 
These are some real cute ones too, like the marble and rose gold one. I'm just trying to tell you guys what keywords are good. So if you buy this, like you can find cute ones because some of them are kind of ugly. So keywords are important. <laughs> then you can find the good ones. Hey, Mish is sick, so this is our dinner. <laughs> Spaghetti and cheese toasties and tomato and cheese toastie. Spent the whole weekend cleaning, doing laundry and stuff. And I've almost put away everything off the dining room table. Got some wedding gifts here, some stuff I want to see my mum. I'm going to do my washing tomorrow. Work samples over there. Groceries are on their way home. It's Monday, by the way. I did do my makeup today, but it probably looks really shit by now. Um, it was a full face of luxury makeup items. And trust me, it looked a lot cuter earlier, but I've been sweating. I need to go get the washing in from outside. Hi, baby boy. I love you. I cleaned all of the dog blankets. Honestly, our power bill is going to be huge this month. Got rid of some of their old beds. Got rid of some of their old toys. Just had a bit of a clean out. I don't know. I was feeling very, um clean inspired you know how like if you're like me and you hate cleaning but like every now and then you just get that mood and you're like okay take advantage and i got a new plant from once it um he's so cute i just watered him today he's looking a little bit droopy but look how beautiful and this like vase is everything i love it vase pot you know what i mean and this baby looks like he's starting to get roots look so i can plant him too so i'll vlog when i do that and I want to replant my cactus too to see if I can grow bigger. I want like a huge cactus. So if anyone has any tips, let me know. But yeah, I want to grow one like a meter tall in like a huge pot and like have it outside at our new house or something. Like I just think it'd be cute in like a cool um, like concrete var uh, pot or something. Oh, that one fell off from you. You guys samples right here. Because we've been asking what you guys want. So we are delivering. And you guys are going to be very excited. By the way, we sold out of you guys crazy we didn't expect that to happen and covid has held us back from being able to restock super efficiently like it should only usually take like a couple of weeks and ideally we won't run out in the future because we're going to try and stay on top of you know it so that you guys can just reorder as you need it and we're also setting up a subscription service that plant's growing again already look at that one at the top um but yeah, I'm so sorry that we sold out. We are working as fast as we can to restock because you guys will be starting to run out if you purchased on launch. If not already, you would have run out. So yeah, that, we, it just went way better than we thought. Yeah, we're working on some new products as well. It probably won't be ready for the next relaunch, but hopefully not too far after that. We're still working on packaging and everything, but the formulas are almost 10 out of 10. Hopefully these ones will make it 10 out of 10. We like to test our stuff vigorously to make sure it's like as amazing as possible, dissolves properly, smells good, tastes good, etc. Hey baby boys! Oh, it's my Zeus, my little piglet, little roll roast. Hi! He had a big bath yesterday because we need to give him a sh I mean a <laughs> shave. I was going to say shower. I need to give you a, a haircut. Yes, we do actually. I'm craving junk food, so I'm going to make a Mexican bowl slash, maybe I'll just make nachos for dinner. Let me get the oven. Yum. The avocado is about as healthy as it got. We've got beans and tomatoes in the mints, spices, some corn, avocado, sour cream and chips. Yum. Good morning. Just got home from the gym. Got my hair done yesterday, even blonder. It's so blonde. Um, and I'm on that time of the month and I am craving a smoothie, which isn't a bad craving, so... I'm gonna make a nice filling smoothie for breakfast full of lots of nice omega fats, healthy fats, keep me full of ages, and make some you guys. Oh man. Did you try those choppy bars? Yeah, they're good. Eh? They're good, right? Is 
feeling flat. A shit sleep because I just had nightmares. I literally woke up and my head was at the end of the bed. It was so weird. Like I'd spun myself all the way around. I was like really disoriented. Like where the hell am I? And then I realized what had happened. So strange. A little bit of chlorella for some more energy. like a bubble tea straw but oh my god they're the best smoothie straws i love these way more than like thin straws for my smoothies good to go once again i'll update you guys when we've restocked <sighs> shower time for me and then i'm going to film a makeup video and a get unready with me video for my instagram before i take off my makeup look at it i feel like a barbie and i love it Gosh, the highlighter, what the heck, the lashes, these are Troublemaker Bakes for Beauty. Oh my god, I love, my top today is from Miss Lola by the way, um, holy crap my hair's gone long, so long, oh my god, like this is how my hair used to look with extensions in it, it's so thick too, I don't understand, it's like it's all evened out finally from my like short bits and breakage and stuff like that like it's all even out and grown along together mm, so happy okay anyways i'm gonna film more now because i'm gonna do get unready with me removing my makeup for my instagram reel so wish me luck i thought i'd do like super dramatic makeup so it was like you know showing you how to get it all off really easily i've got so much makeup on and so many layers so yay Mm-hmm. 